So today my existence revolves around one thing, this crank. We just take it and then we spin it and we're generating some power. So we come up here to the shop and then we pulled this. I don't know what this is, but as long as we can keep the crank spinning, then we should be gaining a whole ton of power and we are making some money. So we just gotta be selling all the power that we're producing. So we have a whole dollar <laughs> and then we buy 10 more of this. Come back to the crank so we can just keep producing power. We need to produce a lot of power for this. And we just keep selling even more power. I really wish this game was more than just a spinny thing because then I could just leave this alone with an auto clicker. But here we are and sell all this power. And now we get to the point where there's this crank, but then there's also a crank for wind power, which is right now producing nothing. Why is it producing nothing? I don't know, but I'm going to come over here and buy some more things for the solar panels so that will produce even more power until it's maxed out and now these are some tasty numbers in here there's even another gear that showed up but now we have less than a cent so we need to start selling all this power and we just buy some more of that and then we have customers that want three seconds of power i guess uh-huh so let's just turn this some more and we're up in the gigajoules for power now and maybe we need a Windmills start producing power. There it is. So we'll just keep this going and we keep that going. Sell all of this power to the grid for more money. And then we can buy some things for the customers and they're producing their own power, power and money. Oh no, they're using power. That just means we need to keep the cranks turning all of them and the crank for coal as soon as we get a thingy for coal and then we upgrade the power grid so we get even more money from the power just gotta keep this going and keep some of this going and it looks like they're starting to become a little bit of problem with this because it doesn't spin as freely as it used to but now the wind is producing kilowatts of power which is very good for us just keep selling all the power in the world so we can upgrade the grid again for even more money from power until that runs out so we turn a few more cranks now that we have coal power to work with and i guess we also need some oil to keep the gears turning as fastly as they can making sure all the power things are going good with a little flick and then the power is actually still going up despite how much we're selling so that means we're in the positive just get a little more wind power and more coal power and then maybe we can get another customer Ooh, lightning i think yes and it does need a lot of power to keep up with it so more cranks ah oh, we've been producing so much power that we actually have some batteries and a new one just came in and what we can do is stack these batteries to merge them and make them stronger. This will be very good for us. Now we have a big honking red battery. Last I heard, you're supposed to not have the batteries go red because it means they're about to blow up or something. But what do I know? I'm just here to turn some cranks because that's what interns do, I guess. Keeping all the power going and getting some more coal power. And we're producing so much power into, what is this? Mega Jewels, Mary Jane, Michael Jackson. Whatever it is, it's good for us because we have solar power level 50 and that's producing kilowatts. And the wind is producing a lot of kilowatts and the coal's producing nothing. You need to be turning, buddy. And we have another crank for natural gas, but we can't afford that yet. Emphasis on yet. Look at how much money I'm making by selling the power. And now we have 2,000 money that we can just bring over here so we can actually get some natural gas flow and that produces so much power. So now with all the money that we have, we can buy natural gas for way big numbers of energy production. And then we just buy a few more solar things. So that's the next level. Look at all that go. And we have quite a few batteries we can put together. So let's just handle that really quickly. So from red battery, we go to <laughs> big battery. And I think we can just crank this all the way up. Oh yeah, it's probably draining more power, but we have so much I can't even see the number go down. And that's actually going up so we really aren't losing here i just want to see this number go up and up and up so that we can upgrade the grid to the next level and get even quicker monies and we can get another customer which is residential which will give us even more money as long as we can keep these things cranking at ludicrous speeds and we can do that by getting a bunch of oil for all of them so that they don't stop and won't stop spinning <laughs> and just in one second i saw the money go from like 54 to over a thousand this is nice oh Oh, and just a little, hold on. We need to sell some power. Ooh, hello, little floating battery. See, as long as we can tap this at in crazy amounts of speed, we can get more batteries. Thankfully, someone made an auto clicker for that. So let's just start this and tap. And that's working very nicely. Look at all the batteries combining back there. I could probably set the speed to be faster, but I am enjoying seeing those batteries just get even more powerful. Three seconds to go and we have over 200 taps. New record, double battery reward. Nice. And <laughs> look at that. We got a button cell battery now. And we have so many more batteries that we can just combine manually so that there's room for them all. So let's just continue doing this. 
a little bit more. And I might just let those sit for a little bit until the tappy thing comes back. But it is also kind of satisfying just merging the batteries like this. But anyway, back to turning cranks because now I can afford nuclear power for megawatts a second. I like this. Just got to keep all of these turning. And we can get some upgrades too for, wow, billions. Can't do that yet. So let's just keep this thing going. And we can get a lot of upgrades for the coal and the wind. Another battery tap thing incoming, but we have to waste a little bit of our time first. And now that we have successfully wasted our time, let's just get to tapping. So right now, the highest thing is a three volt button cell. So does that mean it's going to get to something like, uh, I don't know, will I get to a super battery at some point? Hopefully we'll be able to see it happen soon because we only have three seconds left. But we got more taps that time around. Double battery reward again for a new record let's just uh crank up the auto click for next time every one millisecond for the click interval we'll just put that off to the side and also drag some of these together because i think i can get to the next battery stage which is just going to be a red one but i want to see it happen it's happening so fast as soon as i merge a battery there's a new one there and i really don't like how much work this is so i'm just going to go back to turning a crank and making sure that they're all turning nicely which they are very good for us. The less work I have to do, the better. And we have to get some oil to keep the nuclear crank turning and get some more upgrades for that. And then also coming over to the grid and selling all the power we have. But now we're in the millions of money and we're easily going to get to tens of million because the power is still going up, even though I'm just pouring everything into this. And we can also get some upgrades. Ooh, power grid demand demand. So you just get more demand for these things, which I'm okay with. Some purchases here never hurt anybody. Selling some more power to the grid and gain the upgrade for that. Oh, yes. Level 250. Just look at how much money we're making a second. 84 million. And soon we're going to get to a billion monies. Very nice. And I'm pretty sure there was an upgrade in here that cost a billion. It cost 6 billion. So let's just upgrade the nuclear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that got the nuclear to level 100 already. And from there we have geothermal power. So let's just get that upgraded and turning with some oil to keep it spinning forever and ever. And some more upgrades to natural gas and the coal and the wind and the solar. And that, oh, that's almost the next level. Hold on, there it is. Woo, gears changed and it's turning even more, making more money. Now we're in the GJs of power. And after this, we can get more batteries going. I also like how I was gone for less than a minute and I earned almost a million dollars while I was away. I am not above watching an ad <laughs> for even bigger bonuses. And this one millisecond auto clicker is just going through the roof. I like this. <laughs> Now we have a red three volt battery. Oh my gosh, this high score is insane. And there's still seven seconds to go. We're gonna get a thousand clicks here. And there it is, a thousand clicks. Oh my gosh. And I need to turn that off quick before it starts tapping even more crazy. Which look at it go, the double battery reward. I like it. Just constantly going in the background. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything until it stops. Now we have three three volt batteries of different strengths. So now we just gotta wait for another reward to go for that and uh, selling all the power we have in the meantime, making over $260 million a second just off of turning a few cranks by hand and then not by hand anymore because they just go on and on and on and on and this one could be faster as long as I don't screw up the spinning. There we go. Give it a little bit of bonuses as well and then you as well. And then the nuclear we can't do. The geothermal is still going good. So let's just continue selling the power we have and maybe get some more customers like heavy equipment because they give us $73 million every second. Let's just get a few more of those. Oh yes, look at that. And we'll get food supply going and transportation and cryptocurrency and laboratory. So many clients. And now we have space exploration that wants money. And that's the last thing. That's all the customers we can get. And we can already buy another rocket. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not going to give us money until three hours from now. Let's uh maybe make that go faster, why don't you? Meanwhile, I'll just get cryptocurrencies to level 50 because that's giving us $143 billion every 15 seconds. So if we just keep buying rockets, then eventually we should be able to get $43 trillion 112 trillion dollars sooner than three hours. Oh my goodness. Here's the bigger numbers that I can comprehend. Let's just get more upgrades and also get another upgrade for the power grid for eight billion dollars every second and then we can get a few more upgrades like uh transportation demand sure Ooh, another battery time for another mess of this i am not above watching an ad for some stupidly crazy bonuses like this one <laughs> 
I wonder if we're gonna beat our old high score. One thing's for sure though, I think we're gonna see the next thing past the three volt battery. And oh, that, what is that? What is that? Is that a car battery? I think it is. And we did get a new record. I didn't even see what it was. I'm just hypnotized by the batteries merging themselves at ludicrous speeds. So yeah, I think this is like some sort of car battery. It's just crazy. Anyway, let's just check on our cranks. This is looking good. We can upgrade the nuclear again, which is what I like. And the natural gas again. And the coal again. And the wind. And the solar. Oh dear, this is getting ridiculous. We're at terajoules of power. <laughs> We're about to make a trillion dollars. Look at this. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is, a trillion dollars. Just after turning a few cranks. I need more. I need more. Give me more money here. How many rockets can I buy? I could buy 17 rockets. What? That already brought the power down to 27 minutes. I'm gonna get this down to seconds. It's gonna happen. I just need to make sure I have enough money to do so. The thing is, this is not a clicking. This is a holding situation. So I have to wait here for this to constantly be filling up, making almost $15 billion every second. And I can almost afford the next upgrade to the power grid. Just need that number to read 64. Five. And there it is. Boom. Next upgrade. Now it has legs. I think legs are a worthwhile upgrade. Oh dear. There's a battery again. It's happening so often. It's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because that means that I have to sit and watch an ad while you guys wait. And it's worth it. It's also fun to see these screens because I was only gone for half a minute and I earned $3 trillion. So let's go and merge more batteries. So the last score we got was 1087. I'm having the auto clicker be the thing that starts the button. So... That might be the highest score we can get. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we did get a new record. Wow. I'm amazed. But now we just get to watch all these batteries merge. At some point, the blue batteries have to be like the default, right? Because there's not even enough room here for like the normal batteries to sit. So if I merge these two. Oh, it is a normal battery. Oh my. I need to upgrade that battery. I need more money. Thankfully, there's an easy way to do that. <laughs> by making a $143 billion every second. There we go, now I can upgrade the battery. So now the blue batteries are the default and it's actually taken a little bit of more time to produce each battery, which is interesting. But that should also mean it just makes the upgrades with the auto clicking go that much quicker. Our cranks are starting to slow down, so let's make sure those are going. And this could use another upgrade. And also buying a few more upgrades to the rockets. And I think I can get some more upgrades for the cranks, as in nuclear production times five for even more power. And a few more of these, because I can. Another battery means more crazy battery production with the upgraded batteries. You know, I used to wonder about the appeal of clicker games like this, but now I think I get it. Just seeing... <laughs> Large numbers happen for no reason. And the batteries are also being produced at much higher speed. So we might see what the next stage is past the car battery. And oh, we didn't get a new record that time. That's too bad. But that's okay because we can make $300 billion every second. And no matter how much power I'm putting into this thing, that power number at the top is not going down at all. It's only going up. So what kind of money is the rockets asking for? I can buy 15 rockets, 16 rockets for all the money I have, which will get it to the next stage. So I think, Yes. Cool. Oh, look at this. We're going to get two quadrillion dollars in just three minutes and I can buy more. Yes, do it. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for that to happen. I'm gonna be a quadrillionaire. And right now, the only sucky thing is that I can't get a higher score than that for the double battery bonus. But if I sit here long enough, I might be able to see a red car battery. Nope, not quite. Oh, and look at this. Just 10 seconds and we're about to be a quadrillionaire. Three, two, one, and... Boom! <laughs> Just instant quadrillion monies. That used to be three hours, and now it's only down to seven, almost eight minutes. That is ridiculous, and I can buy so many upgrades for this too. Why not? <laughs> now that's in the seconds of time waiting. And then so is this. That's only 10 seconds, making $34 trillion. And it's just all these things that just really have no time to wait at all. These aren't even like going anymore. They're just giving me all that money instantly. That's a little bit of time, but now that's filled up to just not existing. And then so is this one. And this makes me $3 trillion every second. I could just keep going at this, but now I'm forever and always a quadrillionaire. So I think this is a good place for me to end this. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's ridiculous how much you can do by turning a crank or three. So thank you all for watching and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Ancient Elixir, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, and Splattersax.